Hello and welcome. I'm happy you joined me here. Let's take a closer look at the Minivision Urbanaut in all its details. It's our new fully electric vision vehicle that is designed to make you feel like being at home, whether you're on the road or just enjoying your time in the city. It adapts to your needs in various situations. We call these situations mini moments, and we created three of them. Chill, Wanderlust, and Vibe. In the chill moment, I can rest when I'm not driving. My Mini becomes a compact urban oasis, a place of retreat within a city. You might say it's my personal pause button. Wanderlust is the mode for being on the road. For us at Mini, driving is not just about getting from A to B. It's for exploring the world, gaining new experiences and impressions every day. The Mini Moment vibe is all about family and friends, hanging out with them and simply having a good time together. With the Mini Vision Urban Out, we really wanted to create a car that stimulates all your senses. So we designed it with a holistic approach, perfectioning the interplay between form, materials, illumination moods and even sound. To choose between the moments, we created a special device, the Mini Token. It may feel analog, but it is the digital interface with the car. Depending on where you place it at the table, the specific Mini Moment is activated. The exterior, and especially the interior, transform accordingly. As you can see, experiencing the Urban Out is very important to us. But let's have a closer look now at the design details. Let's start with the interior. It is designed from inside out. We intended it to be an extension of your private home, more a living room than a vehicle. We wanted to create a space in which you can enjoy the journey and at the same time enjoy the transformed interior when you're not driving. The layout is split into three zones and offers in total four seats. The central space is designed wide and open. It invites you to take a seat. And as you can see, the interior is completed with a small table. And above, typical for many, our round display. The front is flooded with light, open and airy. The two front seats can be rotated. When you're not driving, dashboard is sliding down and can be turned into a daybed. You can even open the textile and slip inside, like into a little lightweight sleeping bag. The rear of the car is designed like a little retreat. The textile covered and backlit loop acts like a shelter. With the flexible backrests folded, it becomes a generous area a place to withdraw and feel safe and secure. We call this area Cozy Corner. To make the interior as inviting and cozy as possible, we used various textiles, each with a super soft touch. And we used cork as a beautiful contrast, but essentially for its natural room climate activity. Wherever possible, the materials we used are sustainable. We are chrome-free, and completely leather-free. We've reduced complexity in the design to focus on the essentials, experiencing the space and interacting with it in harmony with our environment. Now, we come to one of my favorite details. It can be used as a table light, but in fact, it is the round display. And it's typical for a Mini, except this time, we've placed it in the center of the Urban Out rather than in the center of the dashboard. And this makes the display visible from every position. You could say it's the soul of the Mini. And as you can clearly see, it was our priority that technology is nearly invisible in the interior. No switches, no buttons, making room for a naturally relaxing space. The keyword here is digital detox. All information layers apart from the round instrument, are hidden behind textiles. Take the loop. It can play 
various animations generating suitable moods in the cozy corner. Or have a look at the dashboard where you normally expect an instrument cluster. The information layer behind the textile provides route instructions and indicates obstacles ahead. Now let's take a look at the exterior. The exterior of the Urbanaut should be recognizable as a Mini on the first read. The wheels straight in the outer corners, short overhangs and gently convex surfaces. And of course, we wanted to establish new design elements. We came up with a purist and understated monovolume design. It ensures maximum utilization of space with a minimal footprint. And that is our mindset of creative use of space. In the front, we also interpreted many design icons in new ways. At first glance, there are no headlights. They're only seen when activated, fully hidden under the milled aluminum structure. The grill is closed now and has an octagonal shape. With its built-in sensors, it turns into an intelligent panel. Thanks to its convex surfaces, the rear of the Urban Out is instantly visible as a Mini 2. Let's talk about the exterior color. The surfaces of the exterior set the ideal stage for the color scheme. The silk made exterior shade of our paint, which we call Zero Gravity, transitions from metallic green with blue flip effect to a subtle gray. And even the windows show a pattern in the color fading from the bottom to the top. And that creates the visual impression that the body and the greenhouse become a single unit. Let me show you some beautiful little objects, the mini charms. You can collect and change them. They're on display behind glass on the C-pillar as an homage to the badges and pins that people use to collect as souvenirs of places or festivals or other events. Now we turn to the wheels, my personal highlight of the exterior. The styling is inspired by skateboards, finished in a nice shade, which we call Ocean Wave. And at second glance, you'll notice the Union Check pattern, a clear tribute to our heritage. The tires flow into the rims as we wanted the wheels to be perceived as a whole. They're also backlit, giving them an additional dimension. Together with the front and the rear lights, we achieved a 360-degree light communication with the surroundings. And each mini moment is underlined by a distinct animation. Let's move on to the doors, or to be more precise, the door. The Mini Vision Urban Out can be accessed via one single large sliding door on the passenger side. We developed a smart slide, ideal for urban conditions where space is limited. And as a little nice extra, the space is large enough to comfortably just sit on the floor of the Urban Out to hang out. I almost forgot about the other large opening, the exceptional windscreen. Opening the windscreen creates a wonderful sense of space. As I unwind on a daybed, I'm in direct contact with my surroundings. We call it the street balcony. Think of a daily routine or waking up on a Saturday morning, chilling, the city is still quiet. All right, all right, I feel that chill moment. <laughs> and I'm completely relaxed, enjoying the moment. And how do I want to experience this? How do I prefer to sit or lay down? And then on what? Yeah, that's a good question. So I like it more cozy, like couch, music, relaxing colors. Yeah, by looking at such moments, we were able to transfer these feelings to a Mini. And we wanted to design a space rather than a vehicle. Mm -hmm. A place to relax from the busy world outside a little retreat, or we call it an urban oasis. A space that really adapts to the situations I'm in. And the technology that makes that possible should be invisible. Sorry, you said invisible? So we started the design process by taping the mini typical footprint right on the floor. And then we asked ourselves, how much space do I really need to feel comfortable in any given situation? 
So that sounds super exciting. Seems you're thinking vehicle design in a completely new way. That takes courage, doesn't it? We really needed to break with familiar conventions. So we started collecting moods, visual references like uh, material samples, sustainable fabrics, colors. You know, all the things that make up the various moments in our lives. And we try to deeply understand what people want to surround themselves with in different moments. And we wanted to create uh, something that feels like home to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And definitely not like the classic car interior. All right, so I got it. So you designed a living room for the road. Well, that was the idea. And these seating units um, are designed to give you this feeling of chill and fit into the small space. And we call it the cozy corner. It's a space in which you can relax, read a book, have a longer conversation with your best friend. That looks extremely cozy. So do I see that right? This retreat is completely made of fabric and wait, I mean, it looked like I'm sitting under a tree. Yes. And the fabric in the cozy corner is backlit and plays with the impression of natural light and shadows. And in the front, we created another highlight. It's a dashboard that transforms into a day bed. Wow. And you know, with ideas like these, we created a whole new lounge experience. Okay, cool. So, and this lounge can drive? Of course. <laughs> But our vision is not only about getting from A to B. It's much more about an exciting journey with a lot of joyful surprises. Like when I want to get out of the city during the day. Mm -hmm. And we've called this moment Wanderlust. It's a journey where I am digitally connected so I can discover recommendations from friends like you along my route. Yeah, I remember. So for example, so you on your way from Munich to Innsbruck, you could go to the Olympic skiing stadium uh, I've told you about right over there. Yes, right. I would love to go there and see it. So, but seriously, this is the entire interior. I mean, where are all the instruments? Don't worry, we thought of everything. You know, in the Wanderlust moment, the entire interior is geared towards the driving direction. Mm -hmm. In this moment, we can either have the mini version Urban Out drive us in an automated mode. Okay. Or if you want to drive yourself, a steering wheel appears. The vehicle then can give you driving directions as it's fully connected. Mm -hmm. And you will find that information layer right on the fabric, which is hidden behind the textile. All right. Pretty cool. So, but these are the only features of the interior that actually remind me of a vehicle. Yes. We want it to be as reduced as possible. An unusual, comfortable mobile space. Mm -hmm. But let me show you something else. Okay. To change between the three moments, we developed an analog yet intelligent device. And we call it the mini token. And it's a beautiful tactile experience. At Mini, we call it analog love with digital connection. And thanks to that, the device becomes one with the vehicle. And here it is. Whoa, nice feel. And what do I do with this? You place it in one of those slots in the table. Ah, okay. And, and here's a third slot. Uh, what is that one for? This is for the third moment. We call it Vibe and you will experience it now. Oh, wow. I like that. It looked like it's evening now. I like that kind of atmosphere. Yes, you know, at the end of an eventful day, you may want to spend some time with your friends or family. So check this out. The vehicle adapts to the situation and your needs. Mm -hmm. But let's take a closer look at the exterior too. Okay.
look at these tires. Yes. You know, the vehicle comes across as really clean and minimal. And this made it even more important to think about the details as a contrast to the overall look. And what you see in many typical style, the wheels are at the outermost corners of the body. And they're inspired by skateboards, sparkle or glow in different patterns, depending on the moment you have been selecting. And the same for sure goes for the front and the rear lights. So that's our visionary space concept, the Mini Vision Urbanaut. I'm totally impressed by what can happen when you put some colors on a blank page and your design ideas turn into reality. Thanks, Amias. It was really fun sharing with you how we are thinking about the future mm -hmm. of urban mobility and about creating a unique space in the city when you're not driving. You know what? I would like to try it now. So then, let's go for a ride moment. Right.